Roberts. I'm president of Tech Coast Angels Orange County Chapter. We're the uh, largest angel group in the country, have roughly 250 members across five chapters, and I oversee Orange County. Okay, okay Stu, well, thanks for being here. And once the um, angel is ready to invest in the company, you've gone through the due diligence, mm -hmm. you've gone through you know, a lot of soul searching about that. What's the most valuable piece of information that you can give to the entrepreneur at that time to, to really, you know, ink the deal, to ice the deal? What's, what's that, that last, the close, the closer? I would say uh, for the entrepreneur, in short, have a good attorney. Um, have someone on your team who understands the game, who understands how the negotiation process works. I think one of the worst things you could do is to come in um, come into the process with unrealistic expectations or on the flip side of that uh, being overly cooperative to the point where you're not getting a good deal. Mm -hmm. So look out for your own interests and, and make sure you have someone to, to advocate on behalf of you. Okay, so um, the angels are, are kind of a, a curious organization. They're, they're more than an investor. I mean just just the money changing hand. They're sort of a partner. So tell me about how the angels sort of help in this whole process as being almost partners in the deal as opposed to, you know, a, a traditional just straight investor? Well, it's a highly individualized process. It depends what the deal is and who the participants are. Uh, again, in our group we have 250 members, so it depends on, on who that person is and, and to the extent that there, there is value added uh, in participating. Uh, but in many, in, in many instances we'll take a board seat. Uh, when we invest. So one of our members takes a board seat and uh, and that usually lasts until I would say the next round of funding. Um, but there are a lot of different ways we can get get involved. It, uh, it just depends on to what extent uh, the entrepreneur has an interest and a need mm -hmm. and, and the angel is willing to contribute the time. Now, um, in going through this this whole process Maybe you could sort of describe what it is that the company is going through, you know, from the first part up to the to that investment part where we're talking the end, inking the deal. Okay, in relation to TCA, I assume. All right. Well, typically, uh, entrepreneurs will come in and they will. Uh, there's a pre-screening process. So that process is there are several members from five all five chapters involved in that, and they will determine whether or not that deal it makes sense for our members as opposed to looking at it in general and whether or not it's a good deal. Um, from there, the, uh, once the company's pre-screened, if they pass that round, then they go to an individual network to pitch their deal. That consists of a 15-minute pitch, five to 10 minutes of, of Q&A, and, and then feedback. And with the goal in mind being to have a, an investor who takes a particular interest in your deal and then can help shepherd the deal around to the other networks. Uh, so it's, it's a fairly involved process. I would say a short turnaround for us is 30 days. More likely it's 90 days from the time that we first see a company pitch. Now, what are the areas that you're seeing the most interest from the investors at this point? Um, digital media, without question. That's, I would say, 50% of our deal flow comes from digital media today. Okay. So Orange County, particularly Irvine, has a lot in this area. Tell me some of the things that you're looking for in terms of, of digital media companies. What makes it what makes it tick there? Well, I, I think in, in you know it's again it's a highly individualized question. Uh, from from my standpoint, I'm looking at companies that have more than in just a a, a large critical mass of interest, uh, early stages of revenue, uh, companies that have that are showing traction on on some front. Uh, then they're the core, what is it that makes this team special? How much money do they need? Not only in this round, but how much money are they going to need collectively to get this to profitability? What's their timeline to profitability? How realistic are those projections? What's their five-year projections look like? All those, all those questions are things that come to mind. Um, any particular tips that you would give the particular digital media companies in, in, in coming to the to the angels and, and in terms of how to present best present themselves. You know, it's interesting. I was just having a conversation with someone who presented a couple weeks ago, 
And one of the things that he did very well is he spent a lot of time, or a fair amount of time, getting to know his audience on an individual basis before he pitched us. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was interesting to see the pitch because there were four or five people in the group of the 30 or 40 people who showed up who knew him, who had heard about the deal, and they were almost advocating on his behalf at the, the deal. So, so I would argue for you know, spend the time to get to know some of the members and who it is you're talking to and invest in that, those relationships as you would any other.